hello my lovelies you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you're notified whenever i post a new video my name is Silem. very very pleased to meet you today i'm going to show you guys how to make a straight dab bustier i already have a video on my channel where i teach you how to make a mono sleeve straight dab bustier if you haven't seen that video then click the link right here but for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a basic straight dab bustier. Now you can use the pattern I'm going to show you today to make an off shoulder straight dab bustier or you can actually make a full shoulder straight dab bustier from the same pattern. I'm going to show you how to draft, cut and stitch the straight dab bustier. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> So I'm using two pattern papers for this. I simply folded them in half, but I made sure that the one I'll be using for my back piece is slightly wider than the one I'm using for my front piece. I drew a baseline and from that baseline, I'm marking the bust point on that bust and half length measurement, which are um, 12 inches, 15 inches and 19 inches respectively. Now I'm simply going ahead to extend those lines Now I'm measuring her um, nipple to nipple measurements divided by two plus um, half inch. Now her nipple to nipple measurements is eight inches. Dividing that by two, it's four inches plus half an inch, which gave me 4.5 inches. So that's what I marked. And I'm just labeling each of those lines. Now I'm marking quarter of an inch allowance on the under bust line and then one inch on the half length line. So it's quarter of an inch on the under bust line and one inch on the half length line. And I'm just connecting those lines and then I'm joining that to the um, bust point line or to the point where the bust point meets the nipple to nipple line. And now at the baseline, I marked one inch as well. And then I'm also connecting um, those points with a diagonal line. Now I'm making sure that I replicate those same lines on my back piece so I don't have to go ahead and measure it again. I'm also marking that zip allowance line on the back as well. Now I'm going ahead to cut out the half length because I wouldn't be needing the excess um, pattern paper. I also went ahead to just cut along those lines. Now having done that, this is what the front piece looks like. I'm going to put that aside and then I'm going to go ahead and um, just replicate those lines on the back. I'm still marking the four and a half inches line, which is the nipple to nipple measurements divided by two plus half an inch. And now I'm just extending those lines. I'm going ahead to label the um, lines like I did with the front piece. Now I simply marked half of our shoulder measurements on the baseline. And now from that um, nipple to nipple line, I simply marked one and a half inches. From that, um, on that baseline, from the half of the shoulder um, measurements, I simply marked another one inch. And now I'm just connecting those points with a diagonal line. Half of her shoulder, her shoulder measurements is 15 inches. Half of her shoulder measurements is seven and a half inches, which is 15 inches divided by two. So that was what I marked on the baseline. I went ahead to just cut along those lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and sew the paper. You can use a needle and a thread, or you can go ahead and use your sewing machine to do that. So this is how I'm going to sew the front piece. And I already showed you how I'm going to sew the back piece. After sewing the front and the back pieces, this is what we have. Now I'm just going, going ahead to place the front bits or the front piece on top of the back piece. 
and now I'm going ahead to mark 8 inches from the baseline and then I'm just dividing her bust measurement by 4 and then I'm marking that measurement and then I'm adding 2 inches allowance I'm going ahead to divide her shape measurement by 4 placing it underneath the bust and then marking that measurement or that point and then I'm adding 2 inches allowance to that now I'm just going ahead to connect both um, points together with a straight line. Now from the baseline again, I'm just extending that 8 inch line because it's going to serve as my armhole. And then I just marked her shoulder divided by 2, drew a straight line to meet the armhole line and then I drew a curve to connect both points. Now from the baseline, I'm marking 6 inches. That's how low I want the, um, um, the neck of this... Um, bustier to be so I simply just from the sh um, on the baseline again I simply just marked five inches and then I just connected those points and then I'm just cutting along that line now if you want to make this a full shoulder you can go ahead and just mark your regular neckline without having to cut out the shoulder that's why I said that this pattern can be used for an off shoulder or a full shoulder so depending on what you want it basically determine what you want to make at this stage so if you were making a full shoulder you would go ahead and just cut your regular neckline now after cutting what i want i'm simply going ahead to loosen the um seam that i had used to hold the pattern papers together so once i've loosened that this is what we have and i'm going ahead to label the pieces this is the center front um, these other pieces are the side front pieces. It's important to label it so that you don't mix it up and Then these other pieces. These are the um, side back pieces and Also, we also have the center back pieces. So all the pieces are doubled Apart from the center front that is just a single piece Now I'm just taking my fabric and I'm placing the pattern paper on the fabric just i use the pin to i use some office pins to just hold them in place so they don't move around while i try to cut them and once they are in place i'm just going ahead to just cut all the pieces on my fabric and once that's done this is what we have now taking the taking two back pieces i'm just um, making sure that they match and then i'm placing them right sides facing so basically i took one center back and one side back i made sure that, I, that they aligned and then i'm just placing them right sides facing and then i'm just sewing that um with a straight line i took the other two back pieces so that's another center back and another side back and then I'm just placing them right sides facing as well, just like I did with the first two pieces. And then I'm just sewing um, those two pieces together. Once that's done, I'm just taking the front two front pieces. So I took one center front. Oh, I took the center front and then I took one um, side front and then I'm placing them right sides facing and then I'm also joining them together I'm just going I'm just sewing them along that curved that curved um, side because they are both curved I'm simply just following the curve of the pieces while joining them together Once that's done, I'm just going to open that up and then I'm going to take the, the last piece, which is the um, side front piece. I'm going to um, place it on top of the um, center front piece and then I'm also going to join that at the other side as well. I feel like um, straight dad bustiers are pretty much easier to sew and join um, compared to princess dad bustiers. But let me know what you think in the comment section. If you've tried both types of bustier, which one do you think is easier? Let me know in the comment section. So once I'm done with my fabric, I went ahead to pad my lining 
and then i also joined it the same way i joined the fabric this is what the back piece of the lining looks like i simply joined it the same way i joined the front piece as well and now i placed the um, front bits of the lining and the front bit of the fabric right sides facing and i'm just going ahead to sew the sides the top and the other side so basically I'm, i sewed both sides and the top and then i turned that um, to the right side and this is what we have basically it's pretty much very easy to to sew very easy to join if you're confused about how i joined any of these pieces then definitely watch my um, mono sleeve straight that bustier video but this is basically what it looks like thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one bye